Hey guys, welcome back to our channel Pratyusha's Knowledge Hub. I'm your Dr. Pratyusha. In today's video, we are going to discuss about the number systems and what are the different types of number systems. So before going to our video today, there is a small announcement. Many people are seeing my videos, but you are not subscribing to my channel. So please subscribe and press the bell icon to get my updates of my videos. And don't forget to share with your friends. So let's start our session. So coming to the first one is number systems. Here, these number systems will be including numbers. So here we can have different types of numbers. As you can see, we can have decimal number system, binary number system, octal number system and hexadecimal number system. So as you can see, we all know decimal in the sense which is represented with 10. So 10 is related to the decimal. Next, binary is related to binary means 2, which is a um, binary 0 and 1. So, octal means 8. Next, hexadecimal means 16. So, these are some of the different types of number systems. So, for every number system here, we are, we are representing with uh, some symbols. Uh, and uh, these numbers are called, these numbers are called as either a radix you can call or you can say base. Okay. So here comes the decimal number system. As you can see decimal means 10. So here we are representing with 10 digits. So those 10 digits also will start from 0 to 9. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Total 10 digits we are having in the decimal number system. And coming to the uh, here how we are going to uh, indicate the base or radix for the decimal number system. So as you can see here you are having some example like 143 is a number and the representation as a decimal is either they can represent with 10 which represents the decimal or they also can give the quotient as D. D represents the decimal. So in the two forms we can represent the decimal number system. Coming to the next one is a binary. So binary is related to the two digits. So those two digits are 0 and 1. So coming to the base or radix of this uh, binary is, as you can see binary, since we are saying it as a binary, here the numbers are represented with either ones and zeros. So this is a binary notation and the base for this binary notation is either they can give the in, they can give in the form of B, B represents the binary or they can give the base in the form of 2, so which represents the binary. Okay. So coming to the next is the octal number systems. So octal means which is represented with 8 digits. So 8 digits in the sense from 0 to 7, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And here octal is represented with either base or uh, radix 8. So here as an example you can see that 253 base, here they have given some octal representation in the form of O which is an octal. Or they can also give as a in the form of 8 which represents the octal. So coming to the next one is a hexadecimal. So hexa, hexa represents 6 and decimal as we know it represents 10. Totally it is 16 digit number so 16 in the 16 digit 0 to 10 are the normal numbers uh, which are nothing but decimal numbers um, uh, normal uh, uh, decimal numbers from 0 to 9 and uh, 10 represents a 11 represents b 12 represents c 13 represents d 14 represents e and 15 represents f so these are uh, nothing but the hexa so hexa decimal number systems from 10 to 15 okay and these are nothing but the decimal number systems. So hexa plus decimal gives hexadecimal. And the notation for this one is here these are uh, expressed either in the uh, 16 with the 16 base 16 or with the h. And as you can see in the data they will be giving the numbers like 1 f e f in the sense which is a 15 e in the sense 14. So representation is 1 15 14 like that we will be taking the representations. Okay. So coming to the next, here we are having the binary representation of any numbers into number system. So in this binary representation, here we are having the integer, we will be going, we will be having the integer part and also the fractional part. So let's check the one of the sequence. So here I am writing for the binary number system. So here you, it is represented with decimal and uh, coming to here, I am partitioning to write the numbers. Okay, since we are saying decimal, so here the notation will be in the form of 10. So 10 to the power of, on the right side we will be getting all minus digits. So 10 to the power of 1, 10 to the power of minus 2, 10 to the power of minus 3, so on. And on the left side we, are, we, will, we will have the positive numbers. That is 10 to the power of 0, 10 to the power of 1, 10 to the power of 2, 10 to the power of 3, so on. 
okay so coming to here what is the notation means on the left side it this one represents the integer part and right side represents the fractional part and this decimal represents the decimal point so this is for the decimal number so coming to the next one is a binary number so binary number here for the binary number same i am dividing uh, so this one represents the decimal okay so since we are saying it is a binary so binary is represented with 2 so 2 power minus 1 2 power minus 2 2 power minus 3 so on and on the left hand side 2 power 0 2 power 1 2 power 2 2 power 3 so on so similarly this side represents the integer part and right side represents the fractional part and this decimal represents the binary point or you can say some decimal number okay binary point so the uh, coming to the next next is a octal representation so octal means 8 so similarly i am dividing so decimal okay so here octal means 8 so 8 to the power of minus 1 8 to the power of minus 2 8 to the power of minus 3 so on and on the left hand side 8 to the power of 0 8 to the power of 1 8 to the power of 2 8 to the power of 3 so this one represents the integer part and this represents the fractional part and this represents the octal point okay so this is about the octal here we are represented with 8 coming to the next one is a hexadecimal so hexadecimal is represented with 16 so i am dividing as we done before okay so coming to the 16 power of minus 1 16 power of minus 2 16 power of minus 3 so on and coming to this side 16 power of 0 16 power of 1 2 and 16 power 3 so on okay so uh, similarly this one represents the integer part right side represents the fractional part and this one represents the hexadecimal point okay so these are some of the binary representations of any numbers in a number system. Here we have seen about the four representations. One is related to the decimal number system. Next one is a binary number system, octal number system and hexadecimal number system. Now let's see the relation among the common number systems. So as you can see here we are representing with the decimal which is a base 10. Okay. So 0 to 15 I have taken the numbers and these numbers we need to represent in the binary format, octal format and hexadecimal format. So let's see, in the binary format, here we are taking the code as 8421 code. Okay, so which means that these are some of the weights. So we must assign the weights. So 0 means nothing here we are having, so here we are keeping all zeros. 1 means where you are having the 1, you will be keeping 1 and remaining all are zeros. So 2 means where you are having the 2, you are keeping 1 in the 8421 code, you are having 2 here. So there you are keeping the 1 and remaining zeros. So 3 means in the 8421 code you are not having 3. So you need to add the numbers. So 2 plus 1 is 3. So here we are taking 2 numbers. So for these 2 numbers I am assigning a 1 1. So 3 means 2 plus 1 is 3. Next 4 here we are having directly. So I, there I have given 1 and remaining all are zeros. So again 5 means here we have not having the any 5 representation. So we must add the numbers. For adding the numbers 4 plus 1 is 5. So for 4 I am keeping 1 and for 1 and keeping 1. So remaining are 0. So 4 plus 1 is 5. Similarly 6 means 4 plus 2 is 6. So 7 means 4 plus 2 plus 1 is 7. Next 8 means 1 triple 0. 9 means 8 plus 1 is a 9. 
So 10 means 8 plus 2 is a 10. Next 11 means 8 plus 2 plus 1 is a 11. So 12 means 8 plus 4, 12. So double 1, double 0. So 13 means double 1, 0, 1. 14 means 8 plus 4 plus 2. Next 15 means all 1s. So this is a binary base with the base 2. So coming to the next one is a octal. So in the octal representation you need to consider the just consider these first numbers then it will be easy for you. Okay these are some of the numbers related to the octal I am taking till here only. So till 7. So coming to the 0. So in the octal representation 0 0 which is nothing but these all are zeros. So here I am writing 0 and triple 0 means 0. So next is 0. 0 0 1 means 1 so 0 uh, next here this one represents 2 similarly 0 3 0 4 0 5 0 6 0 7 okay so after 0 7 let's see here you're having the numbers from ones all ones okay so after this for the 4 to 1 code so 0 0 0 till triple 1 so here i am writing 1 so, triple zero means represents zero. So, one. Next, these ones and zeros are related to the marked ones. Okay. So, one, 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 two, one, three, one, four, one, five, one, six and one, seven. So, which is nothing but one I have taken from this and seven representation I have given. So, this is for octal. Coming to the next one is a hexadecimal. So, hexadecimal as we said before. Uh, here we are having some decimal uh, till decimal we are having then next uh, represented with hexa uh, so till decimal I am writing as usual 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 these are the decimal numbers so these are the decimal numbers okay so coming to the next hexa so 10 means here we are representing with a 11 means B, 12 means C, 13 D, 14 E and 15 F. So these are the hexadecimal numbers. These are represented with hexa. Combination of these both gives you hexadecimal numbers. Okay. Hope this number system video might be useful for everyone. So if you like my video, please give me a like symbol and share this video with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and um, press the bell icon for uh, latest updates. Keep watching, keep learning. See you in the next video.